Yeah, we are on top of breaking news this morning at 5 o'clock. It's something, unfortunately, that we've told you about a lot before. A huge investigation at a gas station in DeKalb County. I'm Lana Harris. And I'm Rob Hughes. There are a lot of police out there. We just learned a funeral home van pulled up as well. Atlanta News First's Madeline Montgomery is live at the gas station for us right now. Madeline, what can you tell us? We're at the BP on Flat Shoals Road. It's right next to the Infinity Club. We're really close to I-20 down here in South East Atlanta and sadly I just spoke with someone who actually works over here at this gas station and he was telling me that the owner of this gas station was actually outside here arranging merchandise when he says three people pulled up and shot his owner and killed the owner and the witness says that then that that those people came inside of this store and then stole money from the cash register and then they left. And so now you can see DeKalb County police are all over the place. The crime scene investigators are here and they're actually speaking with family members right now, as well as with witnesses and other folks who work here at the BP gas station. And the witness tells me that the owner was a younger guy. They say that he owned multiple gas stations in this area that he just was trying to make an honest living in this area. And they say that there are multiple surveillance cameras at this gas station, which of course is abiding by DeKalb County's newer ordinance that gas stations are required to have surveillance cameras. And so they are hoping that police are able to identify who did this quickly. But the witness was just shocked at how cold blooded he says this appeared to be because these people didn't say anything. They didn't ask for anything. They simply shot, took money and left. And so we're still speak, still waiting rather to speak with DeKalb County homicide detectives to get these details all confirmed. But of course, once we get more information from them, we'll bring it to you right here on Atlanta News First. But for now, reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.